I am super excited to share with you guys my new desk setup for 2021. First things first, the desk and the chair. I'm still using the autonomous L-shaped smart desk and I gotta say it is holding up extremely well. The motor has no signs of slowing down and to be able to move up or down it is through this control panel right here. So you have the arrow up or arrow down and then you have numbers one through four. Those are my presets. Number one will be my sitting down position. Then number two will be my standing up position. And then number three and four is kind of like bragging rights to see how high the desk can go. And conveniently right next to it I have my USB hub so I can connect a SD card, a micro SD card or even two USBs so instead of reaching all the way up to the MacBook itself I can conveniently connect my accessories right next to me and no struggle no hassle whatsoever all right so real quick going off script I just want to be honest with you guys I use Ethernet every single time I use my computer um, I just don't like having the Ethernet connected to the side I just I don't know it just makes it look a little bit more cleaner without it so yeah I just want to be honest that is connected to my Netgear XR1000 which is present over there this is a content creator router right here it's technically a gaming router but at the same time you can be able to add as much bandwidth to your MacBook as possible so as a content creator I like to upload videos as quickly as I can so having as much upload speeds you can prioritize with your MacBook and then have less bandwidth speed for example on my HomePod or even my PS5 now this has Wi-Fi 6 which has four times more capacity than previous generations of Wi-Fi. This is gonna improve the network congestion. This is gonna reduce the standing latency by up to a whopping 93%. Reducing your latency is going to improve the communication between you and the server. Now this is the only Wi-Fi 6 router to feature the latest version of Duma OS 3.0 and essentially this is going to allow application QoS which stands for quality of service. That's going to allow you to prioritize not just a single device but a genre of traffic such as gaming, live streaming. So this is going to utilize every little bit of your upload and your download on every gaming device on the network. And not only that, you have geofencing and a ping heat map, which is going to allow you to analyze servers, finding the lowest ping connection. And all in all, this is just a router used by professional gamers, content creators. And this is something I noticed the difference right away from a traditional router. Get yourself the XR1000. Thank me later. And essentially, the XR1000 just gives the player the power to win. If you don't suck at the game, that is. If you guys want to learn more, I throw a link in the description to my review. And thank you to Netgear for sponsoring today's video. And the way I connect this Type-C hub, I use a Type-C extension. It is connected to my MacBook Pro. And in terms of the chair, this is the autonomous Ergo Chair 2. And I gotta say, this is a big upgrade compared to those gaming chairs just because of the mesh back, which is gonna give you airflow from your head to your back. You have many different controls here, so you can adjust the position of the lumbar. You could be able to adjust the seat. Of course, you have your standard controls of um, moving up or down the chair. Something to keep in mind of, you cannot lay all the way down flat on this one, but you can go back pretty significant. Now, just a side note, I wish I would have went with the black and white variation instead of the cool gray, just because, well, the seat, if you wear jeans, that could leave a mark on the chair. So be careful on your color options. The armrest is a little bit on the tough side. So I decided to go on Amazon and purchase a memory foam armrest. So this is just gonna add more comfort. And all you do, you just put it on, it fits like a glove and it feels so much better. Now yes, I still have my E-Win Champion Series gaming chair, it is just on the other side so whenever I'm playing video games on the big screen, I can still have a comfortable experience. But I would be the first to say that the gaming chair style is not going to be for everybody so if you have a professional workflow desk, you might want to pick up the Ergo chair instead of a gaming chair but if you have a gaming setup, you might want to pick up a gaming chair so it just depends on your setup. And no matter which one you go with, there's no wrong answers. You guys can still get a discount if you use my code on screen or click the link in the description. You get a pretty significant discount. 
for no matter what chair you go with. I'm using the same monitor as last time. This is the LG 38 inch ultra wide. At first I was gonna go with the 34 inch, but I'm so happy I went with the 38 because you have more screen real estate. So you can see more things on your timeline. You could be able to multitask more efficiently. And as you guys can see, I still have my monitor mounted up to the desk. Still using the Vivo Singular full motion mount and this thing still holds up well. I could be able to tilt the monitor, turn it to the side or even rotate it. I made a couple of small minor arrangements. I moved the monitor up just a little bit higher and I shifted over to the right side just a smidge just for that perfect viewing angle. The monitor is actually powering the MacBook itself with just one single USB type C. In terms of the specifications, this is the 8 core i9, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 5600M graphics card, 1 terabyte of SSD. What's standing up my MacBook is the 12 South Book Arc. Although I'm not a fan of the price tag, this is going to improve the airflow and keep your setup pristine. And the time of this recording, this is the most powerful MacBook that you can buy right now. And yes, we have Apple Silicon on the way. Curious to see how the performance is going to sell even further. And the only kind I would say with this machine is just the fan noise. It's just, it gets crazy once you really push its boundaries. But that's where the AirPods Max comes into play. It significantly isolates any background noise thanks to its active noise cancellation. And that's why I love the AirPods Max so much. And then the transparency mode, you could be able to be aware of your surroundings. If you want to keep up a conversation with your friends, you could be able to do so thanks to its transparency mode. And did I mention the sound quality is fantastic. You have adaptive EQs, computational audio, and the comfort is out of this world. And notice the headband is the same exact material type as my chair. So it's less tension and you have air flowing on your head same thing like my chair now what's standing up my airpods max is called the zero aluminum headphone stand and i think this is a perfect one-to-one -one combo you have both aluminum finishes on the headphones itself and on the stand i'd much rather use this than the provided case it just looks so much better now right next to that i have my home pod but this time around i picked up another one for stereo pairing and my goodness guys it simply sounds incredible <laughs> Yes, Siri isn't the smartest in the world, but if you want to get some basic tasks done, such as just playing the music or turning on and off the lights, she's going to be able to help you out just fine. 2020 brought a lot of surprises to our lives. Our mission is to keep ourselves clean and having a hand sanitizer by your desk is one of the key elements. I brought this premium dispenser off of Amazon. You have a stainless steel pump with the frosted glass on the bottom. It just looks good. Now this time around, I replaced my MX keys with the Keychron K2 wireless. This is my first mechanical keyboard. This model in particular is the RGB aluminum frame with the brown switches. And I certainly have a blast typing on it. Feature wise, you could be able to have this wireless or wired. You could be able to connect up to three devices. You could swap out the key. So in this case, you could swap out the command key with the windows key. And overall, you can completely change the way how your keyboard looks with different color variations. You could go crazy with this keyboard. You guys are gonna love it, trust and believe. And alongside with that, I have my good old Logitech MX Master 3. This mouse is an absolute dream to use. From its fast connectivity to its functionality and its ergonomics, this speeds up my workflow tremendously. You can customize the buttons on separate applications. So in this case for Final Cut Pro, I could cut a clip by pressing the middle button or I could change that to something totally different such as like a undo button. And honestly, there's no better productivity mouse than the MX Master 3. The wrist rest that I'm using is also from Keychron and this is definitely beneficial because well, the keyboard is pretty tall. So having this wrist rest, it gives you that perfect height to be able to uh, reach the keys. 
versus without it you're gonna kind of struggle but then again i guess that depends on how big your hands are and what a coincidence that this matches perfectly with my iphone 4s disassemble frame by grid if i were to put this iphone together right now this would be a functional iphone and you have a lot of details going on so it just indicates on which part is which and they offer many different devices so you have a nokia blackberry or even the ipod touch i'll throw a link in the description to grid these guys are it they legit <laughs> Alongside with that, I have my corner shelves installed that I brought off of Amazon. So I have the top shelf showcasing my 10,000 subscriber YouTube play button. And alongside with that, I have two small IKEA plants. And then on the bottom, I have my camera gear. So I have my ADD with the 50 millimeter lens and I have the 10 to 18 millimeters as well as the 18 to 55. And alongside with that, I have my Canon G7X, which was my first camera ever. A lot has changed. Now time for the start of the show, the Nano Leafs. These are wall light panels and they just look simply amazing. I mean, look at this. You have different rhythm and flow variations. You can have single colors or even better yet, you can download different themes or different rhythm from the community. So you have Netflix and chill, PlayStation colors, you name it, there's a theme for it. Now, along with that, I have my official YouTube 100,000 subscriber silver play button. This is something I just got the other day, and I gotta say thank you guys so much for all your support. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible, and I can literally wake up and see this on the wall, or somebody can step in visiting, they're gonna see that. This is easily the most priceless thing on this list. This is something that you have to earn. You don't necessarily buy a YouTube play button. So thank you guys yet again for subscribing. Now switching gears to the L side, this is mostly where I'm chilling, keeping up with my favorite YouTubers, Twitch streamers, while a video is uploading or exporting, this is the side that I just vibe out. You guys are gonna find my Xbox Series X, which I am absolutely loving this system. Quick resume is the best thing since sliced bread. Play a couple of games of MW2, play games of Doom or Control, and just less than five to 10 minutes, I'm in the game already. It's just, the system packs a punch. Now what's displaying the Xbox is this portable monitor. Somewhere down the line, I do wanna pick up a gaming monitor. Let me know down in the comments down below what's the best one you can buy. Something that's affordable, but something that's good. But for now, this is all I have. It's good, but it's not the best. Now my headset of choice for my Xbox has to be the Razer Kira Pro. Not only is comfortable and it sounds crisp, I loved how it has Bluetooth 5.0. So for example, I have my iPhone connected and my Xbox connected. Let's say I'm playing a game of Gears 5. And let's say I get a phone call. The camera is gonna connect to my phone and I can answer or end the phone call without you taking off your headset. So this is gonna just allow you to focus on your game without being interrupted, looking for AirPods or other Bluetooth devices. You could be able to have two things connected simultaneously and that is just genius. And that is thanks to Bluetooth 5.0. Now I'm still using my good old 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch. I use this mostly for signing documents or quickly checking emails or even jotting down some notes real fast. This thing still packs a punch to this day. Thanks to its A12X chip, it is still very fast in 2021. Now on the previous desk setup, I had this diamond shaped acoustic foam. I decided to take it down because of obvious reasons. I had my Nano Leaf and I had my iPhone frame. Now I have to reposition those foams. So I wasn't sure if I should just remove it altogether or just have it around the desk as you guys see it right now. I don't know, does it look better with it or without it? Let me know down in the comments down below. Whenever the studio room is a bit messy, that's where I like to use my smart vacuum cleaner from Carvel. And I gotta say, man, it's hard to go back to a traditional vacuum cleaner. 
while this is vacuuming your room you could do other things you could take a shower get something to eat get a drink work out whatever the case may be this is going to be able to vacuum your room one less thing that you have to worry about and the beauty thing is you can set schedules so for example you can have it clean the room every day at 5 p.m or whatever the case may be or any day you can even tell your echo or your google home to clean the room unfortunately it isn't supported with siri and it can even mop the floor guys i mean come on And even so, it can automatically empty out the waste bin. So you don't have to manually do it. The machine is gonna do it automatically thanks to its base. So it's like a bag that's inside the base and then when it's time to empty it out, it's automatically gonna do it for me. So you literally do not have nothing to worry about. It's literally one of those things where you set it and it's good to go. This is easily a purple couple pops approval. Once you have it, you guys are gonna understand. It's definitely a stamp of approval. And there you guys have it. That's my desk setup 2.0 for 2021. I see myself making another desk setup video once I build up my gaming PC. That's gonna deserve a separate video itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I'd appreciate it with a thumbs up. If you guys didn't, that dislike button works too. If you guys wanna see my next desk setup video, make sure you guys click on that subscribe button with notifications on. My name is Simply Pops. You guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and everywhere else, Simply Pops. Hope you guys have a simple day. Peace.